All right, the big reveal. How did I cast my Oculus Go screen? Um, very simple. I'm going to tell you how I did it, then I'm going to show you if anybody wants to see the details. I used SCRCPY or screen copy, and I that's how I got the image to from my Go. And then I used OBS to crop in on one of the two screens, one side of the screen. And then I used Google Chrome browser to cast my desktop, and I went back to OBS and I went to full screen, uh, and that's it. I'll show you how to do it if you uh, want to watch the rest of the video. A couple of things I do want to mention is that when you are using screen copy, I'm just going to call it screen copy. When you're using screen copy to stream your, your Go's screen to your computer, the latency is extremely low. If you can just do that and use OBS to show it on your computer screen, that would be the recommended way to do it. It seems like latency is different depending on what you're, you're casting to. For example, it seems like I had more latency casting to the to my Nexus player that's connected to my television than I did casting to my Amazon Fire TV stick. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe it has to do with the device you're casting to, but all right, let's get into it. Okay, now you can have your, you can do this wirelessly or you can do it via ADB. Um, I prefer to do it wirelessly just for more freedom. But so you have to connect to your Go. I'll connect to my Go. I already created a BATS file that will connect to my Go. All right, it's connected and run screen copy. Now I put dash B 25M for 25 megabits. Now this part is very important. Press Control G, and that's called Pixel Perfect. I know it's off the screen, but it will still capture the whole thing. Trust me, uh, you want to do this. Otherwise, it, the image is not as good. All right, so we're going to go to. There we go. There it is in uh, Open Broadcaster software. See if I right click, I can say full screen display. See, look, and look, notice this on the computer, it's almost real time. It's almost real time, look at this. It's very low latency, extremely low latency. So we go over to Chrome, cast, cast to desktop, otherwise it'll always default to tab, living room TV. It doesn't share audio, so anyway, it's casting. So it's casting now. Make sure you go back to OBS, right-click, and go down to Preview Projector, Display, uh, and now let's go check out the television or whatever you're casting to. All right, there it is. Play something. All right, this is just a quick demonstration of me using it. I switched from the TV to the projector because the Amazon Fire TV stick that's plugged into the projector seems to have less latency than the Nexus player that I have plugged into the television. Anyhow, I didn't want to put too much video of me doing this because obviously you can see that it's working. Uh, this is just a few seconds of me playing Genog. Anyhow, um, all right, let's get back to all the details here just in a few seconds. Okay, I will link in the video description a JSON, JSON, JSON file that you can import here uh, with OBS. Um, click on Scene Collection and click on Import, and it will be Oculus 2D full screen. And uh, yeah, go ahead and import that. And if you have any questions, let me know. That's the big secret. I would also recommend uh, that if you don't have to cast and you, you just want to show somebody on your computer and it can run screen copy or to do it that way because the latency is so incredibly low. I know some people use Visor. I will also leave a link to a review someone did about Visor versus uh, screen copy and they said that this person said that screen copy was just so much better. I had tried the trial version of Visor. I haven't done anything beyond that and uh, yeah, I didn't 
it didn't really work very well for me. I know a lot of people will like it. Uh, you can do a lot of things with screen copy. You can drag and drop an APK onto the screen and it will install it on your device. Just that simple, drag and drop the APK. You can also just type on, in the screen, like it'll accept typing commands, very similar to, I think the same thing that Visor does. So, all right, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and I will catch you guys later.